Okay, so I got the uh, seal installer that I need for this rear main seal. Uh, here's the seal number. It's an international part. Um, it is a six and one eight crank. So this is specifically for that crank size. They, uh, they have two other sizes as well. Um, so basically this inside part here bolts to the crank and then um, I guess I use the bolts to bolt it to it and then the outside ring uh, gets pressed on or it doesn't get pressed on but it uses this forcing screw to press it down um, this installs <clears throat> it's specifically for this seal um, so if you look, you got a two-piece seal here. Uh, you've got the seal, and then you have a wear sleeve that's inside of it. So this goes on like this, and it presses it in. So you get a little step right here on this edge, and then this edge. So this edge pushes a seal, and this edge pushes the wear ring. So it just goes in there like that. <clears throat> and it presses them both in at the same time and it sets your depth at the same time too uh, so I mean it, it, it's a little bit pricey but so is the seal so I mean you're gonna want to make sure you did, do it right because if you if you don't put it in right it's gonna start walking around and then it's going to just wear the seal out and then you'll have to take it all back apart and do it again so, I mean, you can see that it presses it in on the edge there. So, uh, I'm going to get it all set up and we'll see how it goes. Um, it's kind of with these two Allen head cap screws. So I disassembled the seal driver, the inner from the outer. These are, I don't know if I said these were 10 millimeter, but they're 10 millimeter. All right, I think you get a little less glare over there. So. Uh, hoping that the seal just slides right over the top of this installer also. like that. Oh, let's pretend like it'll go. Cause I think it will. I think I'm just kind of cockeyed on it. Once we start going, it'll go. Just gotta get it going straight. What are we getting on there?
This seems like an incredibly heavy duty uh, installer. Which I ain't complaining. I mean, it probably weighs like 5 10 pounds. It's actually pretty heavy. smooth. Got a little bit of resistance now that it's going into the case. Oh. And nothing, nothing crazy. Well, I guess that's it. Just go until it bottoms out and then you're on. So this installer is supposed to do basically a lot of years. I think it does all the way up until the current uh, or the 2016 Max Force. Um, a lot of trucks that we have, this is the older of them. Well, it's not the oldest, but it is one of the older ones. This is an 06. Um, everything else is newer than this. So I, I got the extra installer ring for the max force while well, i got this tool because i mean this is the the older one everything else is a max force after this so anything with this size crank it'll do and uh yeah. seem to go in there pretty perfectly actually i'm very impressed because you know if you try to drive i did uh, I, I can't see. I mean, you could probably get it in there without this tool, but I can't see it being in there correctly because you got two surfaces that have to be aligned. Um, you could try it, but I mean, that seal was $168. This tool was 260 So if you put it in there wrong, you're going to have to take it back out and redo it again. So that's two seals, and that will be... Uh, what over three hundred dollars and you can get the tool. I, mean, I, I guess you got to get the tool But I don't know. I didn't want to try it without the tool because I didn't want to have to do it again So I would recommend that if you are doing this to buy an installer um, I believe we got this from freedom racing uh, I think it's in Illinois or somewhere around there it was one of the cheaper ones that I had seen, and they have a, a website right online you can look at, and they have customer service you can call and ask them questions. Um, they stay on their website. That is, it, it is for the seal, exactly. So, uh, that's why I went with it. But, yeah, it looks like it's in there. It's recessed that little bit like it's supposed to be here, and it's, it's in. So, I'm satisfied with it. Thank <laughs> you.